Hello and welcome. Welcome to Trucking Answers. It's the Sunday rant and hey, it's all snowy out. Look at this. No cars today. We're going to go right into it. And there's a court case to beat all. Isn't this great? Our friends at CRST are back in court as usual. I assume they're in court every hour somewhere in the world, but that's just my assumption. The court has ruled, an appeals court has ruled, get this, what I've always said. So I feel satisfied. They said that time spent in the sleeper berth past eight hours is work time. You don't just get to not pay people. Now this case has been winding its way around for a while. And what this driver said is that, hey, I'm back there sleeping, the other guy's driving. That doesn't mean I'm not working and I should get paid. Because when he figured his time in the sleeper in to his pitiful pay, okay, he made less than minimum wage. And I don't understand why you people, you people, I don't know why people still work at CRST, okay? In my opinion, no one should work there. That's how we get rid of these places, okay? But they prey on new people because who's going to work for 25 cents a mile plus a $100 signing bonus? That's what they said he was getting. All right, so time spent in the sleeper work. And CRST's position was, no, no, no. Drivers can do whatever they want back there. He could surf the internet or just sit in the dark while the other guy's driving. Yeah. And the court said no, which is what I said. It's like a fireman. When they are at the station, even if they're playing cards or eating chili or whatever all they do, pet the Dalmatian, right? They're working. They're in readiness to work. They can get called at any time. They got to get be ready. They have to be there. They can't leave and go sit at their house and get called in. They're at the fire station and that's work. And drivers who are in the sleeper are there because of work. The test in the court case was, hey, how does this benefit people? Who does this for? Are you in the sleeper for your own benefit or are you there because of work? That's what I've always maintained. When you do something for work, that's work. If you're there because of work, yeah, do you go sleep in the truck on your free time? Like when you go take off time, do you just stay in the truck? Okay, most people know they go to their house. So when you are there and the other guy's driving for CRST, you're working. You're there because of work. And that should be paid. All your time at work should be paid. Stop. You know, this is the thing that gets me about drivers and people in general. We devalue our time. You think your time isn't worth anything, and therefore, people don't give you anything for it. You think you're not worth anything. Time is very valuable. And any time you give to an employer should be compensated time. They're taking your time up to do things. They have to pay you for it. That includes sleeping at work. That includes sleeping while somebody else who has one day more of driving experience than you is driving. That includes all of that time. And the court has agreed with me. Now, this will probably be appealed again. I don't know how that all works. This was already at some appellate court level. So I don't know how high they can go. This is certainly not a Supreme Court issue because it's not a constitutional issue. So I don't know how far it'll go. They'll appeal it all the way. They spend all so much money fighting, paying people. Do you get this? How much money do they spend? I'm sure they have corporate lawyers on staff or whatever because they're in court all the time. They still got to pay them. Those, ironically, those lawyers are getting paid good money to make sure drivers there don't get any money. That's the biggest irony of it. The biggest irony of it at all. They're paying, what does a corporate lawyer make? Certainly well into six figures, I got to believe, right? So they're getting all that money to make sure that the driver doesn't get anything. I love it. I just love it. But uh, it's about time that these court... Now, there was a ruling, too, uh, with Walmart and sleeper birth time a number of years ago. And this case is similar to that case, which you can go uh, check that out as well. But this case, right, time in the sleeper is paid time because you're at work. At work. And this is, they said in the article, this is a precedent setting case. Do you know how many people spend time in a sleeper every day? A lot. Okay, do you know how many people CRST puts in a sleeper every year? Probably 50,000, considering how fast people quit there. I don't know. 
This is huge. This is huge. It's a game changing case. What will happen to it? I don't know. They've lost all the way along. CRST has lost this all the way along. So, and they keep appealing it. But this is big and it's about time. Now, stop devaluing your time and insist that you get paid for all of your time. That's all I've ever said to people. And they get a lot of grief for it. Oh, Mark, people shouldn't be paid if they're sleeping. Yeah, they should if they're at work. If you're there because of work, yeah. If you're off and could go do whatever you want, that's one thing. If you're in a truck a thousand miles from your house, that's work and you should be paid for it. All of it, all of it. And the court agrees and it's about time that the court finally took my position on this. So I'll say I was a leader in this one, okay? Get paid, that's all I've ever said. And number two, don't work at CRST, no matter what, do not work there. That's number two, all right? Back to the snow. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back soon with another Trucking Answers.